talk about um, my decision to do NPC. This is like, it's supposed to be like my gym, but I never use it because <laughs> I work out. I have that a fitness class. Um, my daughter has her blanket in here because, like, this is, like, where we get ready. Like, it's, our, like, our slash our, like, dressing room slash powder room slash gym slash Brooklyn's little, um, I have my niece. And, like, if I have to do my makeup, like, she has a little desk so she can do her homework. Or she actually uses this equipment more than I do because... She um, was working out. Like, she'll jump on the trampoline, and there's, like, mirrors all around us. So, she'll, like, watch herself in the mirror. And then I have my chinchilla over there, and then she loves the elliptical. She just recently, I don't know, maybe, like, six months or something, she's been able to use that. Because at first, she was too little, so she couldn't use that. Anyways, and I used to be really productive about doing my makeup before she got here. But, anyways, um... <laughs> And now I'm just like, I just do it and she'll do like a worksheet and I'll help her with it or she'll work out and we'll have like some cute music on or she has like little dolls and her makeup and I wear like her little vanity and stuff like that. And so anyways, <laughs> so I was like explaining the room. I did a video where it was just like a gym and I didn't have all this other stuff in here except for the dollhouse. Um, but, uh, I never, I never posted it. And then we have a closet that has, like, a shelf of, like, weights and stuff like that. And, um, anyways, um, so this is, like, the gem slash, really, I just get ready in here, like, every single day instead of going in my bedroom. Um, I just, because it's, like, surrounded by mirrors and I was going to show y'all. See, I have, like, the little, this is my basket of, like, stuff beauty stuff. I have the Soldier's Creed on there. I love that. And then I have like little um, inspiring quotes. My little, when I did the mud run. Anyways, there's like mirrors all over the room. This is my daughter's like little work or uh, getting ready area, but she leaves her clothes right there. Anyways, so it's like I put a little motivational stuff for her. And anyways, this is where she gets ready. And then I have my little spot. So, anyways, and then I have like a little mirror in front. See? That's me. And then in the back is like a little, um, like, scripture quote thing. Anyways. So, this is it. And I kept the room in here because I was like cleaning up after Rainbow. Anyways, it's clean now. I should, probably should take that downstairs. Um, but anyways, uh, okay. So, now that you're introduced to the room that I'm in, uh, so I decided to do, um, to compete in the MPC, and the reason is, is because a lot of people think, like, whenever you turn 30, like, oh my god, life is over, and you, like, have to pretty much just die. When you turn 30, you're like, it's time to just die, and life is over. And it's like, I remember when I was little and some lady from church, she was just like, oh, how's, how old's your mom? I was like, oh, I don't know how old she is. I was like, she's, she just says she's old. And then she's like, no, she, you're not old. Tell your mom that she's not old until she's a hundred. And so I, that always was burned in my brain that you're not old until you're a hundred. And honestly, if you take care of yourself, you can live until like a hundred, you know? And so 30 is like only like not even halfway through your life, you know? And so like another thing is like we were like, um, I was like 18 or something like that. And my friend was like, oh my God, I can't wait to be 30. Wait till I'm 30 because like when I'm 30, you know, that's when I'm going to be in my prime. And I had another friend that was 24 and, uh, so, uh, we were all just like together and, and just, and I was like, that was another thing that really always stuck with me. I'm like, yeah, 30 is like, you're in your prime in 30, you know, because you really like, you don't really know until you get there. But like, once you get there, it's like, it's, you just like, you come into your own 
and like it's just different and it's hard to explain because you just have to get there um and so like anyways i i can't think of another way that i would want to spend my birthday like i just think it would be such a fun experience and like another thing is like i'm um like a minimalist except for when it comes to clothes because i love clothes i love them so much i love shopping for clothes and um so I've like, I've downed it a lot. So I'm like not as crazy as, well not that I was ever crazy, but I mean like I love clothes. And so I do love to do like little shopping sprees and stuff like that on like clothes, but I'm, I'm trying to be like not as bad. So, but I don't think there's anything wrong with like, especially when the seasons change, like if you need to go get clothes, you know, new clothes and update your style and stuff like that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's not like a, so anyways. Uh, so I, 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 I'm like a minimalist other than that. And so I feel like, like it's like such a good time for me to do it because uh, number one, it's been a bucket list thing for me for like ever. It's just like a really good time for me to do it because like, um, like when I was like a teenager and like, I was just like, oh my gosh, like that seems like such a cool, fun thing to do is like compete in the NPC. And like, it was always on my radar. And then a little while ago, I think it was like two years ago, I was like, oh yeah, like, you know, I'm gonna do it. And I had picked out, um, they were having one on 4th of July. And so I was like, that's cool, I'm gonna do that. And so I started like getting myself, like prepping and getting myself ready to do it. And then um, I was just like, um, my daughter had won a trip to this church camp and um god like literally seriously planted us in this church camp because uh, they need a volunteer she wanted a free trip which was like a 375 dollar trip and or like 350 i don't know the price goes up as if you don't pay for it like if you don't pay for it soon like you're, the price goes up so anyways um i was like okay i'm gonna i felt like god was really calling me to this camp like I felt like I really needed to go so I went and it was such an amazing experience for me um because um it just it was just amazing I was able to like pour into so many kids and just really just do what my purpose is here on earth basically um just I was just there because I have I had like um I have like a really great testimony um, and I haven't really shared it with anybody except for like, um, you know, my students and stuff like that. But I have a really good testimony and I was able to share that testimony with them. But um, anyways, long story short, um, that was one of the things that had stopped me two years ago from doing it. And so I was really thankful um, for that camp. And anyway, so I'm back and I decided I was just kind of looking around. And I was like thinking about doing it again. Cause, uh, like competition time is like summertime and summertime is like my prime time um so basically the thing about me saying about the minimalist um so basically what i'm saying about that is i'd rather spend my time and money on doing something that i've never done before than on something that i'm not going to care about in 10 years and the other thing that i was saying about um you know you to be 30 is like not even halfway through your life. Like our shelf life is really long time. If we just preserve ourselves and take care of ourselves, you know, we can live a really long time just depending on how we take care of ourselves. So, you know, eat healthy, work out, stay active, keep dreaming and keep pursuing what you love. Um, I, that's another reason I'm doing that is to inspire um, my daughter and also just everyday moms and everyday people and that, you know, we can go and do, pursue our dreams no matter what age you are. And even if you're 80 years old, you can pursue your dreams and just do what you have on your heart, you know? And it's like, you don't have to stop being beautiful and sexy and gorgeous when you hit a certain age. Even if you're 50, you don't have to stop being gorgeous and beautiful. You can still be beautiful. It's not just for the Hollywood starlets or whatever, or the people on TMZ. It's like, it's anyone can be beautiful. You're beautiful within yourself, and beauty is also where how you take care of yourself, and that also, you know, comes out. So, you know, you want to have a good heart, and you want to take care of yourself, and you want to be active, and you want to have a healthy lifestyle, and that's what makes you beautiful. 
So anyways, keep dreaming, keep doing, keep moving. I love you guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Mwah.